right, I'm at the windiest place in all of Sri Lanka, but let me tell you, it's not just that. It is also the tallest structure in all of South Asia, the tallest skyscraper in Sri Lanka, and we're literally touching the skyline of Colombo because. You know, we've gotten a little more taller. We're all adventure junkies here because we've climbed various staircases. We'll show you what it's like and we've reached on the top. Awesome. Talking about on the top, I've got with me the Jaffna Kings captain. Of course, he's the one on the top because he's won every edition of the Lanka Premier League. Uh, actually, you know, it's a uh, really uh, excited place, you know. And it's my first time. Yeah. So, uh, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you have a certain vision for you know what you have for this year's because Jaffna Kings has won it all three years. What would it mean for this particular franchise to win it for the fourth time? We are going match by match, so last few years or same story. So this year, if we look at the team, so so many uh, youngsters and uh, so many uh, uh, local stars and so many overseas stars there. So. We will see what happening. I'd like to ask all of you guys, what are your plans for Jaffna King? How do we tackle this situation? How do we cut this spell right here? To give a hard time to Jaffna. Yeah? <laughs> how, how do we do that, Dasan? Uh, we got some young talent plus international talent, so we are looking forward for the tournament. Alright, how do you tackle going forward, getting deeper into the tournament? Do you have an approach that you'd like to follow? See, it's the team combination uh, plus the rotation of the players, so um, in different different conditions, conditions we have to use different different players. So when it comes to turning tracks, we got the uh, spinners, uh, good spinners with us, especially Sakshaki and Shamsi. When it comes to fast bowlers, we got the fast bowling talent. So uh, we got all areas covered. So yeah, looking forward for the tournament. All right. Well, we love candy. Well, it actually came very close last year to cut the spell of uh, Jaffna Kings, but well, not far enough. What do we do this year? Yeah, basically we have a very strong side uh, this year. Uh, you know, uh, last year we, we won uh, seven out of eight uh, games uh, in the first round, but uh, you know we lost against uh, Jaffna uh, in the qualifiers. So in this year we have a, you know a very balanced side. So hopefully uh, this year for us. I think we need a little more aggression to tell something to the Jaffna Kings. What yes, about you, guy. sir? Uh, yeah, I think uh, every team is very good uh, this year. Then uh, Jaffna three times win uh, this tournament. Then uh, I hope uh, myself and my teammates, uh, this year team is very good. I uh, I hope we are doing well this year. Okay, perfect. And uh, well, Roshan, you are taking up captaincy for the first time. And uh, also you have a certain batter. Uh, uh, Who is that batter? Of course, Babar Azam. You know, how do you handle captaincy over a man like that? You know, he's a <coughs> he's a friendly character. You know, he's a, he's in the top top uh, three in all formats uh, in the world. So he's a he's a good player and he's a uh, team player. So it's very easy to handle him, and he's helping me throughout uh, last few days. And I hope he'll uh, help me throughout the season. And I hope everyone will uh, do good, and uh, everyone wants to watch exciting cricket. So from tomorrow onwards, uh, everyone will see uh, some exciting cricket. Wow, all right. I sense the energy. I think the energy is going to go up as we get deeper into the tournament. Gentlemen, I wish you all the best. The question is, we've come up so far. How do we go down? I'm sure they'll find answers to that as well as we get deeper into the tournament. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. 30th is where we can start.